You think you crave fries because they taste good? Think again. It's not just the flavor, it's biology, dopamine, and thousands of years of evolution at work. Your brain was never designed for modern ultra-processed foods. And French fries are the perfect trap. I'm Dr. Sunil Reggae, psychiatrist and educator. In this video, I'll explain the neuroscience of why fries and other high-carb foods can feel addictive. We'll break down fat, salt, sugar, dopamine, and how evolution set you up for this. So let's start off with salt. Salt is critical for survival. We need sodium for nerve signals, hydration, and muscle function. In hunter-gatherer times, salt was rare, so our brain evolved to value it. Today, salt is everywhere. On fries, it spikes the opioid system activity, which increases the brain's reward response. That crunch plus salt, it's a primal cue for pleasure. Combine that with fat, and you get a double hit. Fat doesn't just taste good, it activates two systems at once. One, the taste pathway. Fat receptors in your tongue, specifically CD36 and GPR120, send signals to the brain's gustatory cortex, triggering dopamine in the nucleus accumbens. Two, the gut-brain axis. After ingestion, fats stimulate hormones like CCK and oleoethanolamide, signaling satiety, but also interacting with the vagus nerve to reinforce reward. The result, a delayed but longer lasting dopamine bump. It's a post-ingestive reward system evolved to motivate survival, but now being hijacked. And third, carbs. The relationship between sugar and dopamine. You see, fries are starch heavy and starch breaks down into glucose fast. When glucose hits the bloodstream, insulin spikes, and the brain gets a hit of energy. But more than that, studies show that sugar increases dopamine release in the nucleus accumbens, just like addictive substances. Even without taste, sugar given directly into the stomach leads to dopamine release, proving it's not just the sweet flavor, it's glucose itself. And fries are the perfect recipe for glucose release. So why does this combo hit so hard? In evolutionary terms, salt, rare, fat, high energy, and sugar, fast fuel for the brain. Any one of these was a survival advantage. Put them together and that's an evolutionary jackpot. The problem is our brains haven't evolved in 10,000 years, but our food environment has. So now what we have is a modern mismatch. These super normal stimuli are everywhere, cheap, easy, and engineered to be irresistible. In neuroscience, we call this a mismatch, where evolution collides with the modern world. Think about a vending machine, fast food available everywhere, cheap, high starch food in the supermarket. This constant stimulation leads to dopamine receptor downregulation. What does that mean? It means you need more and more to experience that reward, but the reward continues to reduce over time, a hallmark of addiction. What's it actually doing to your brain? Repeated exposure reshapes brain circuits, especially in the reward system. Now, fries aren't heroin, but the mechanism is similar. Dopamine spikes reward learning and compulsive behavior. So cravings are about wiring. So let me summarize all of this for you. You're not addicted to fries because you lack willpower. You're responding exactly as evolution designed, but in a world evolution didn't anticipate. But knowing this gives you power, power to pause and power to choose. And if you want to understand more about addiction, then check out this video here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay in touch with our future releases. This is Psychiatry Simplified. I'm Dr. Selene Reggae. See you in the next one. Until then, stay curious. Bye-bye.